We're doing it? Doing it. We're doing it. In this video, I will attempt to learn and memorize the Cavalier snare break from 2008 in under 10 minutes. Hey guys, we're just starting out on YouTube, so it would really mean a lot to us if you subscribe. Jake, is this where the button is? Yeah, that's where the button is. All right, right there. For those of you who've already been watching our videos, my name is Chris Parker. I am a world-class marimba player from Phantom Regiment in Music City Mystique. Um, I've always had an aptitude to snare drumming um, in terms of learning music quickly. So the idea here is can I learn world-class beats in a very short amount of time? So today we're going to do uh, Cavalier's Samurai by ear. Yeah, we don't. I don't have the music for it. It's a little bit proprietary. You have to buy the green book. So we're just going to be watching the video on slow-mo and we're gonna see if I can do it. Yeah, okay, we live and dot dot ready. Boop. Fast. Oh my god. Yep. I tell you what, I miss the days of drum corps when you just used to ram fast rolls. Here we go. Big open signals. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. This brings me back. I used to be the biggest Cavalier fanboy. Comment if you were a Cavalier fanboy back in high school, because I mean, I think we all were. We all loved the Green Machine. Here we go. Let's see what we got here. Alright, so we got two eighth notes on beat four. Okay, so it looks like we've got um, bum, buka bum, buka bum, buka bum, bum. Okay. Okay. No, it's on the left, so. Yep. Okay. And then let's find out what that fast lick is. It appears to be a nine lit. Cool, so. Don't know if that was the time. I mean, it's for government work. And then. I do love learning visuals fast too, so ba, ba, ba. And we come back over, and then I think we just do a little wave. Man, 08. I, I remember learning that in high school. Not the lick, the wave. The, the, the <laughs> O, the good old days. It's starting to sound, sound old. All right. So it appears that we got um, let me be sure that those are singles. Yep. All right, so we do it twice, it appears. And then we've got, I think it's just a single. Let me check again. Mm-hmm. Yep. So we've got, um, and then it's, I think it's just a double beat. I think it's just alternating. Let me double check. Yep, sure is, so. And then I think it's two eighth notes. That's crazy. Those are singles. And we are at one quarter speed? Whoo! We're at half speed, but okay. still. I mean, that's how fast your one hand's going, right? gonna find out aren't we so so from the top yeah 
for that. Uh, oh yeah, it's the double B thing, so. Okay. And then it's a pa pa pa. Now, this is the part that I'm not too sure about because it just seemed like a long phrase of notes, but let's see if we can break it down. Here we go, note by note. Okay, so four, three notes, and then a buzz. What happens after that? I think it's two accents, one accent. Interesting. So we got a. Uh, yeah. And then another buzz. So. And then I think there are more notes, though. Yeah, okay. So I'm lucky that I'm able to see there's a right hand diddle in there on four. So I think it's a forianda after that, so. Now again, I'm not too sure about rhythms here, so correct me if I'm wrong on any of this stuff. If you have a, a better video, always tag us. Let us know what you think. But I think it is one, two, three. Let's try the next part out. Interesting. Okay, so counting out the notes of the next bar. So we stopped here. The next bar, it's three fives all evened out. So a 15 over 16. So one, two, uh, uh. that's the notes. I'm still trying to focus in on a snare drummer to find the hands. And I think it is putada two singles. That's what it looks like. So putada right left, putada right left, putada right left, ba. All right, so that's gonna be weird. Really loose on it. Let's hear the rest of it. Um, actually, let's go back real quick. Nope, I don't have time. We're just gonna we're gonna wing it, y'all. All right, so we've got. Right. I think. So we got two. Interesting. So we've got three sets of two beat of roll. And then it's coordinate space, and then and then this little thing, one e and a two e and is what it sounded like. And then two of three. And then we got uh um 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 um. Then we just do, I think it's two bars of high roll. It sounded like four long bars of this stuff. Let's see what the ending is, so. Yeah, interesting, okay. So it is just um, two bars of up roll. Right. 
I'm gonna watch the first part again. Chris score is going to be 11 out of 10 just because oh, no it's not going to be that but man did I love that show it's probably one of my top three drum corps shows of all time it's hard I don't know if it's it's an interesting hard right because back in those days we just chop city chop 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 who can do rolls at 200 bpm and that stuff kind of burns um but in terms of technicality, not too difficult. I would give it a score, personally, about an eight out of 10. It's not like what drum core clean is now. It certainly wasn't drum core clean in this lot. That was really fast and you can kind of hear it in the slowed down version. There's a little bit of gray in it. As always, if you love this video, please share it with all your friends, like, comment, subscribe, and please comment other licks that you want us to play. We gotta thank Jacob Jones. Thank you for this lick. Uh, brought me back to memory lane. See you guys next time. Thank you.